Ooh. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Cigar Ralphie. And sorry, I'm I'm coming to you from the car because my room isn't set up for videos yet. So you know what I'm saying. I gotta record where I can. Now I haven't posted in a while. Obviously, because I've been here for two days already. I got here on Friday. Today's Sunday. I'm trying to get reacquainted with the United States. I've been out in Africa for a while. So, you got, you know, whole different environment. You know, different everything. Different. Everything's different. I'm going to get back to doing my video soon. You know what I mean? Uh... My reactions and stuff people been writing me like yo check this out check this out check this out a whole bunch of stuff also since i'm back home i gotta check my schedules i do gotta get back to work over here but so i gotta see what my schedule is gonna be but i do want to have the other channel where i have just other stuff that i react to i'm gonna separate the music from the other stuff that i react to because i get you know like i said before reaction music reaction videos especially hip-hop and stuff have their own people that want to see just that you know what i mean and then there's people i want to see other things so i'll put that on the other channel and then kind of vlog kind of vlog stuff too you know what i mean but i'm on my way to the store because i just there's a new house my first time seeing it my wife had moved in first we purchased it but i was in africa when i purchased it when i you know I bought it, I started here when it was just land, then we built it, and then, you know, we finished closing, whatever, and I didn't, I hadn't seen it yet. This is my, Friday was the first time that I walked into the house. It was new to me, there's a lot of stuff I was fixing, you know, when it's a, a house, whether it's old or new, there's stuff that you're going to have to work on. Uh, on a new house, the construction is not going to be perfect uh, it, um, it's good it's good but the house has to settle there's things that oh man they, they put this in the wrong way so you know i gotta call people hey this is wrong there's some stuff i had to fix uh you know just minor things i'm you know we're buying stuff so i gotta build this that furniture and stuff and install it put it in or whatever the last thing i'm gonna do because that's the last thing on my agenda is my studio my little man cave and i already got ideas on what i want to do with it so you know, that's where I want to go from there. But I haven't forgot about anybody. I haven't forgot about my UK brothers and sisters. I haven't forgot about anybody. You know what I mean? So I'm going to come back. But, you know, that's how it is. That's how it's going right now. All right? I finally got good internet. I'm finally watching stuff in HD again because in Africa, I didn't see anything in high definition. Everything was standard def or below. Actually, more below than standard. Um, you know, the internet was just not you know as good as it was here you gotta you know and, and i understand because of the location where i was at i do miss it i'm not gonna lie i miss it i feel like it's like a like a little part of me i'm glad to be home glad to be home okay i'm not gonna say that i'm not glad to be home that would be a lie but i do miss it it was you know it's a very uh very epic experience i don't know how else to put it you know it, it, it's an emotional experience too beautiful people great people i loved it it was it was just really nice man um the just the people so humble you know different you know it's a lot of different that you see here i'm gonna tell you one thing i'm gonna tell you one thing i noticed and uh hopefully this doesn't offend anybody if it does oh well but as far as here co comparing the states to where i just came from in africa I don't remember seeing, like, I think I was, like, one of the fattest people there. Like, when I came back to the States, as soon as I landed in Georgia, as soon as I landed in, in as soon as I landed in Atlanta, already started seeing the difference. I was like, oh, my God, there's so many overweight people in the United States, <laughs> including myself. I'm overweight. But... I was like, damn, man. Afri in Africa, you so you may have seen onesies and twosies, and they weren't like overweight like here in the states. Like, it would it was it would be impossible for me to shop for clothes. Like, I'd have to like go to like another country to shop for clothes, and then go back to uh, Chad in Africa. You know where I was. Crazy. Oh my. It's just um. It's. Man, it's night and day, okay? 
that's not saying anything bad about anyone. Um, you know, anything negative or anything bad about anybody in Africa or anything, but just night and day. And but it's just a great experience, man. And I and I think if you have the opportunity to, you should go and check out uh, Africa. Check out all the countries, other cultures. I want to go to the UK so bad because, yeah, it's you know it's modern, one of the you know modern modern countries, whatever. But it's still a different culture. They speak English, but it's a different culture. They do things differently than here. You know what I mean? Um, and and I I love it. I want to go see it. You know, so I want to go there. I want to go. I've been to a lot of countries, and I'm still gonna travel. I'm still gonna travel. I say that I'm not going anywhere anymore because I don't want to leave the family like that but if the money's right <laughs> you know I gotta do what I gotta do you know what I mean so but anyway that's all I got for you man don't forget to like and subscribe follow me on social media and I'll see y'all on the next smoke which is soon